God bless you. Social media. Daring to be different. What I found is I spent a whole life uh, upset, not understanding, trying to conform to other norms because I was just different. Not knowing that that was the template for God expanding my territory. I was so apt in wanting to fit in. And folks fitting in, in a world with 327 million people just in the United States, uh, 7.5 billion people in the world, fitting in is not basically your template for greatness. To be a standout means that you they'll see something different in you that they're not seeing in everybody else. So don't let people punish you because you're different. Don't let people uh, castigate you because you're different. God gave the schematic, you know, before you, your mama met your daddy, before your daddy had winked at your grandmama, God had given the schematic that he had called and ordained you to be a prophet, to be a writer, to be a thinker, to be a thought leader, to be a business person. And he gave you something special. But you've taken what God has given you and you want it to mesh with the masses. And basically, I can tell you that if you really want to stand out, that you got to dare to be different. You got to know that sometimes when everybody's having their little circles and their little huddles, that you won't be invited sometimes. Sometimes they won't extend the invitation to you. Sometimes you won't uh, be in the number. But you got to dare to be different. Folks, the world is changing. In a changing world, how could you ever be on what's called the cutting edge if you don't dare to be different. The people that stand out in life are the people that uh, get out of the humdrum, all of the mediocre, the commonplace, the uh, comfortable, uh, comfortable settings, and they dare to be different. You know, folks, I know that everybody loves the old wine skin. But really, the old is the old wineskin as effective in this day. We can we can find scriptures, and the, the Holy Writ says, "Seek for the old path." Yet the Bible also says uh, that you know I think somewhere in the Book of Daniel about He knows the times and the seasons. Uh, Ecclesiastes three one said, "To everything there is a season." So why would you be out plowing? when it's the time uh, uh, to harvest? Or why would you be out trying to harvest when it's the time to plow? Uh, the men of Issachar mentioned in scripture said men who understood the time and knew what Israel should do. Folks, you got to dare to be different in a world where everybody's screaming and hollering and holding their ear and preaching on one leg. If God gave it to you to do it different, do it different. I I had an incredible gift, gifting, and I believe that I came to the pressure because I wanted to fit in. Folks, fitting in sometimes is against God's best design for your life. You got to dare to be different, even in business. You know, I believe, uh, you know, when you're owned by one company, and I think the fallacy of large companies is that they put a a... Uh, a all-in-one marketing strategy. Folks, each business that you have serves a personal demographic. Each business that you have has a set of customers. Why would you come and market to people like you do in Minnesota when you're in Memphis, Tennessee. So folks, you gotta dare to be different. Sometimes in a corporate setting, they'll make you look like the rabble rouser. They'll make you look like you're the uh, ingrate because you're daring to challenge the corporate model. But folks, if you don't ch challenge the corporate model, you're gonna be losing money like everybody else. Each door that we have, even though there's one way to do it, uh, according to our corporate handbooks, but there's not one people that we're doing it to. 
you would not market to a man that's uh, in certain ethnicities one way and, and, and think that that would be okay to market against another ethnicity the same way. So folks, you gotta dare to be different. You gotta know who you serve. You gotta study trends. You gotta know what's going on. You gotta know what's coming around the pipe. Everybody in the world wants to fit in. Everybody has this cookie cutter approach to, to greatness and greatness will not be yours until you learn to be different. Folks, you got to make the decision, take the hits, take the scorn, take the uh, take what they say behind your back and dare to be different. Because if you don't, if you're like everybody else, why would we pick, why would the world pick you to stand out? You know, a lot of times those who get to the highest runs of, of success are those who chose the uncommon path. Uh, the Bible said, uh, you know, Bible theory, the road less travel. Folks, you got to dare to be different. In a world where everybody wants to follow the fad, follow the, uh, follow the, uh, the buzz, follow what's viral, following what's trendy, following what seems to be the word of the hour, following traditions, following metrics. Folks, you got to dare to be different. Sometimes you got to come against all of that and know if God's given you a, a purpose, if God's given you a design and a word, a rallying cry, you got to denote what that is, even though it may oppose conventional wisdom. And you got to still dare to be different. Be ye not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. My folks, child of God, my brother and sister, I'm speaking a word into your life on today that you got to dare to be different. You don't have to do it like they do it. If you want to be different, if you want something that you never had, many times you have to do some things that you've never done. We've sacrificed great goals. We've sacrificed great plans. We've sacrificed greatness all in the name of fitting in. Folks, if you want to go to the next level in your life, you want true greatness, you got to dare to be different. Be blessed. God bless you.